Okay, you guys. What do I want? I'm trying to get myself situated. I am. I always hate doing the, you know, the break. You got to break down your desk in order to go into the office. And then you got to set it back up when you're working from home. So this is actually uh, my manager let us work from home for the rest of the day. You guys, I don't know about where you're at in the country, but today it started off 12 degrees in Atlanta. Absolutely freezing. Luckily, didn't have to be outside too long, but it's still freezing cold. I think it's still like today the high is like 34 or something like that. But I am getting my desk set up so I can work the last hour of my shift. Hold on, what is wrong? So I'm, I need to log on, get um, set up to work from home because my manager is going to also let us work from home tomorrow because it's also going to be, I think it starts like it's, it's going to be 17 degrees in the morning if I'm not mistaken. I think this morning it was 12. It's going to be in the 20s. 21 degrees tomorrow in the morning so she's like yeah y'all can work from home for the rest of the week so and then she let us leave early today to go work from home for the rest of the day so i'm super appreciative of that because it is freezing outside but it's freezing inside that building too like they don't care they're not turning on the heat but today i've been working on as far as work goes i've been working on getting some of the results for um january month to date performance because my manager wants a weekly kind of readout to see like how performance is trending this month for some of the initiatives that we have going on and then one of the VPs put out a challenge to employees to improve their performance improve their Q4 performance in the month of January now I don't know like we may not like everyone may not necessarily work in sales or in a sales role but in general we all know like for most businesses q4 is their best quarter and you want them to improve performance from q4 which is the best quarter of the entire year i don't see how that's possible so now we have to go back in and kind of like backtrack on what he challenged employees to do a little bit because one that's not possible so in q4 we're looking at we're looking at doing an average performance instead of actual there's a difference and then and but and then also the time frames aren't going to be the same because q4 it's three months and you want them to improve it in one month so we're looking at a average for q4 in order to level the playing field and then trying to get them to improve that in January and and uh hold on one second my internet is why is everything on the wrong side give me a second let me log in because everything on my screen is on the wrong side and I don't know why where are even my logins Like all my desktop icons have like just switched from the left to the right side of the screen and I don't understand why. But anyways, um, the VP wants to do the Q4 over January performance improvement. So we're gonna look at an average over January. Other thing is, you're looking at improvement. So when I pulled some of the initial numbers, one of the issues is that there's employees with zero. And the way that we calculate improvement is your current performance, subtract your previous performance, divided by your previous performance, using your previous performance as the level playing field for everyone to calculate improvement percentage. If your prior result is zero, you can't divide by zero. So how can you improve from there? So now we have to come up with something that is fair instead of doing improvement based on improvement percentage we may have to set an actual target instead like totally revamping what you, what it is that you want so i don't know if you're gonna if he's gonna really get what he wants out of this challenge that he put out but this these are things that like we as data analysts we can pull these numbers if like we're aware of this ahead of time to say hey is this even freaking possible what you're trying to do? And if not, let's come up with some alternative solutions. But this was announced, shared out to people, and they're going to be looking for this. And then HR has some issues. They're trying to backtrack as well. Like, it's just turned into a whole, like, it, should we even put in the effort to do this? You know, do this work for what you want to do. I don't know. But that's what I'm that's a part of what we have to figure out as well to make sure we can move forward with what 
it is that he wants to do. That's another project that I'm working on with my team as well. They're working on some of the other components. I've been working on looking at the actual results and numbers to see is this possible and for some of it are direct like I talked to my manager and let her know about the zeros and she's like okay so we need to come up with an alternate solution for that and then that's where I was like we can do a target or a minimum um result and look at improvement from there I don't know y'all I don't know and then my um or the other metric that they're looking at improvement on we also have an issue with zeros so I, I don't I really don't know like like you can't measure improvement from I mean like we can look at the difference from zero but everyone isn't at zero so does that make it fair like if I'm starting from zero and get to 17 for example and you're starting from 50 and you go to 90 is it fair that I have a target and you're looking at improvement percent for someone else no we have to level the playing field so we're looking at performance the same way for everyone that's kind of the challenge with that one and we brought this up to our um, director yesterday so we're waiting for feedback because we just need to set like a baseline goal for everyone is what it seems like it, it like if you don't have a, if we don't have a way to measure improvement we just need to set like a baseline goal for everyone and go from there so if you hit this baseline goal then look at okay your actual from that baseline instead of looking at it from your prior result so we'll see we'll see all right, so let, I've logged on. Let me just get back to finishing up because I pulled some numbers. Pulled some, I, oh, I've been taking my Tableau training. I've been pulling numbers for this project for the weekly readout. So I need to finish that slide that I owe because I think we have a call tomorrow. So, and she'll probably want to go over this information on that call to show performance. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that and I'm going to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. So I'm going to go take a quick little lunch or eat while, eat lunch while I'm actually working. So I'll check back with you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. So this morning started off a bit um, different. I um, we received someone reached out to us um, about one of my dashboards, the results in it is wrong. And from what I see, it's so far, it's one location where the calculations appear to be off. But I'm going through and I'm double checking to see if it's just this one location or if it's like everyone that's in the dashboard if the results are off because um, I don't know what's causing it this one location's results to be wrong. And we have to finalize like we have to finalize results this week Friday. well tomorrow actually results need to be finalized so i i'm over it y'all like i i don't know it just seems like randomly calculations change for no reason i'm not sure if this has to do with the hierarchy change or it shouldn't it should not be impacting that should not be it because this isn't while location did change this roll-up calculation that's being done should not be impacted by that but that doesn't mean it's yeah it, it, it definitely shouldn't be so I just need to work on figuring out what's going on with the calculations and why it's off for this particular location and um and see if it's off for any other location so that's what I'm working on so far this morning is pulling um going through looking at individual results and looking at results at the location level to see okay what is going on and if it's more than lo one location then that makes sense to me at least so i'm just pulling the data in excel so i can or copying the data into excel so that i can get a better do i have a meeting was working to finish the graph finish what graph uh sir stop tagging me and stuff 
Okay, all right, so I need to work on this calculation and see what is going wrong in this dashboard. Okay, different. All right, y'all, I feel like I'm working on five things at once. Like my manager is asking me, hey, where's the numbers to this deck? And it's just like, there are other people on the team that have access to these results that can update this deck. I don't know when I became responsible to update all the numbers on the deck, but I did, I've been, I've updated the numbers on five slides for different initiatives for the month of December that have been going on in this deck and they want to close out the month and see like how the performance actually was so that's where it's like okay you have it in a dashboard put it in a deck so i can read out to how you know these initiatives performed in the month of december and then also she's wanting to know how are things performing month to date for january initiatives that we have and i'm just like i'm one person everyone else has access to these dashboards they can go in and look at my numbers and pull them and update these decks and then i was tagged in a comment oh nikki is going to update that how and when because my manager tagged me this morning there's an issue with the dashboard i'm trying to resolve that i got my stuff back from hr they want me to look at some people and numbers like i can only do so much at once and everybody's wanting you to do something and it's like you have to prioritize what you can work on first and what i'm prioritizing this morning is working on this dashboard issue and checking these numbers because that I think is the most pressing issue being that results need to finalize tomorrow. We can't finalize results that are inaccurate is what I'm saying. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to check in really quick and say like sometimes it can be overwhelming when you're being asked to do multiple things at the same time. And it's just like, what do I prioritize, you know? And for me, um, I'm just gonna prioritize this. Um, I'm gonna prioritize this work that needs to be done with the results that are incorrect and results need to be finalized tomorrow. So I'm gonna get back to working on this particular project because yeah, these numbers are wrong. Like these numbers are freaking wrong. All right, so I'll check back with you guys a little bit later. Okay, y'all, sorry, I have not checked in in a while. I am so stressed out. Tableau has been down for the last two hours, so we've just been like in a holding pattern, not being able to do anything, and everyone wants everything. I told y'all earlier, we have to get re results finalized by tomorrow, but Tableau is freaking down, so we can't do anything, so. I'm trying not to freak out. We have tons of emails, Slack messages, everybody, and their mama asking, why can't I access this dashboard? It's freaking down. They're not sending out a communication to the masses to say, hey, Tableau is down. You can't access any dashboards. It's just been down for two hours, two hours. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do, but I'm working on other stuff that I can work on that's not in Tableau. So I can work in Tableau desktop just so like I can work in the desktop version and in metrics there, but the server is down. So anything that's published out there, we can't do anything with it. So it's a hot mess, but okay. All right. Just wanted to check in and give you a, an update on what's been going on for the past couple hours. I've been stressed on my, my second coffee of the day. And I'm just trying to respond to people and be like, it's down, it's down, it's down. We don't know when it's going to be back up. All right. Okay, so one of the managers that I work with in finance just sent me his Tableau workbook because again, Tableau desktop is fine. Um, let's see. Cool. So I can access data from here. Okay, so yay. Great. Thank you so much. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure it actually has what I need, first of all. Sorry, y'all are blocking my screen. I need to move you. Okay. Why can't I find? 